This is the gift of being a human being. It's the ability to experience yourself as truth, as love, as compassion. Now the left brain is related to right brain, uh, right side of the body. So the functioning is right side mm. and right brain is left side functioning. Okay, so right brain, left side of the body is the more feminine yin, more creative aspects. It sees the world as a whole, not the parts. Whereas the left brain sees it as the parts that makes the whole. Mm -hmm. It does more calculations, it's more planning, more structures, more systems. This is more like the bigger shelf. You see it all, you know, just have a sense of what it is. But it doesn't matter. It's much more creative on this side. So this side. So you're gonna work with the left channel and the right channel, okay, through the nose. So basically these two channels in the nose goes up into the midbrain. So the midbrain is basically the point if you can imagine the line through here and here and here. Mm -hmm. uh, right in the center, the midbrain is basically a combination of your hypothalamus, which is the main controlling center. It's like the main balancing center for anything that's happening in the body. Your pituitary, which is also like a woman releasing center that has to do with your mood, the way that you perceive joy, sadness, all of these things. And then there's the pineal gland, which is going to do with light and dark, your light and dark perception. So this is also got to do with life, death, existence, non-existence, manifestation, demanifestation. Working with also certain aspects is also related to your belief system because it's dependent on what you see as light and what you see as dark. So all of these, these three things are kind of sitting very closely together and they kind of control everything that is happening. The way you respond to something is dependent on how you perceive it. So what comes in is determined what goes out, basically. Mm -hmm. So working with the midbrain point is a really important thing to learn how to open and close, to expand, to contract, to let go of some of the boundaries that we've had in our upbringing, in our cultural blockages, in our belief systems, in our social, social enforced beliefs, I almost want to say. Mm -hmm. Because once you start opening up a little bit, you become more open to what is really there, not just what you think is right or what you think should be. There's much more to life. Mm. So this helps you to just kind of expand your mind a little bit and let go of some of the restrictions that we put on ourselves. Because also we are confined to a physical body, but if we can see more than just this, we have a slightly different perspective, which can help us to actually resolve a lot of the conflicts in the body. Because you're in the physical body, you can't see beyond it. You can see beyond it, you've got a different perspective and you can go, oh, but there's the problem there. Whereas if you're in it, you're, just like, you're in it. Mm. You can't see the problem. Mm. <laughs> so it helps to just open up 